Hello everybody. Went on my Walmart run to pick up a few groceries. And I'm just stopping here at this little duck pond. And the Lord just moved my heart to make this video. Um, somebody sent me a cute little bracelet the other day. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? The sun's glaring in my eye, so I'm not sure you can see it or not. <laughs> but it says, all you need is Jesus. All you need is Jesus. I tell you guys, I don't know how I get along without the Lord Jesus Christ in my life. I really don't know how I'd get along. I don't know how I'd make it through the day. I don't know how I'd make it through each hour without Jesus in my life. He just helps me with so much. He's the Savior. If you're listening to this and you're not saved, He is the only way to get to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes unto the Father but by me. There's no other way to go to heaven except Jesus Christ. You can't get there through Allah. You can't get there through Buddha. You can't get there through any kind of New Agey beliefs. The only way is Jesus Christ. He is the Savior. He's the only one that died for your sins to give you eternal life. He hung on that cross to pay for your sins and mine and to give you the gift of eternal life. And there's no other way by which a man can be saved except through him. And I just don't know what I'd do without him in my life. He just blesses me so much. Just blesses me every day. I don't know how I could make it through a single hour without him. You know, he just, he blesses me. He lifts me up. He, he puts joy in my heart. He puts the joy of the Lord. When, when you receive Jesus, he puts the joy of the Lord in your heart. He gives you the gift of the Holy Spirit. He puts the Holy Spirit in you. As soon as you're saved, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. And then you can also pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I, I received that about eight years ago. And then that blesses you even more. But the moment you're saved, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. And Jesus just helps you through everything. He puts the joy of the Lord in my heart. He puts the peace that surpasses all understanding in my heart. That's what the Bible calls it. The peace that surpasses all understanding. Because it's there. No matter what's going on in your life. Uh, your life can be in chaos. Your life can be in, in full of calamities and in an uproar. But you can have the peace of Christ in your heart. You can still find peace in Christ. With Him. No matter what's going on. It's really, really true. I'm a living testimony to that. He gives me peace. I don't care what's going on. He gives me joy and He gives me peace. And it's the kind that lasts forever. It's the kind that you can't get anywhere else. You can't get a lasting peace and joy from this world. This world's getting more evil every day. We're just surrounded and encompassed by evil everywhere you turn. Everywhere you turn. And the only peace that you can find that lasts is through Him. You can't find joy and peace. You might run out and buy a new car. Maybe you got a new home recently or something and you're all overjoyed about that. But how long does that last? That's just something that's material. That's not a spiritual blessing. That's only material and it will pass away. Okay, the Lord puts spiritual peace in your heart and joy. And it's the joy that comes from Him. It can't be gotten from anything in this world. You get a new home, a new car, you're excited because you found a, a new boyfriend that you think's the one or something. But how long does that joy over that and that peace last? Not long. Not long because a couple months will go by and you're sick of that car and... And you're already on the, on the lookout for a new car, wondering what kind of car you're going to get next or something, if you're all hung up on worldly things. Those are the things of the world. Don't set your heart on the things of the world. Set your heart on eternal things. 
Set your heart on eternal things and you'll have true joy and peace that lasts no matter what's going on in your life. Okay, you'll have that and I want you to have that. That's why the Lord moved my heart to make this video today. This video is for the unsaved. This video is for the people that are walking in darkness. If you're walking without Christ, you're walking in darkness. And you're not going to have a joy that's going to last you. It's going to run out. And quickly, if your, your mind and your heart is fixed on worldly material things, they'll pass away and you're not going to have that joy. That joy that's true joy. The only true joy is with Jesus Christ. That's the true joy. Okay, the only, if, if you'd like to receive Jesus, and I really pray that you would right now, okay, um, the, the seven year tribulation is about to happen soon. If you read the Bible, if, if you don't read the Bible, go read Revelations, the book of Revelation. And that will tell you about the terrible tribulation that's about to come on this world. People, it's going to be a living nightmare on this world. It's going to be a living hell on earth. And I don't want you to go through that. I pray that you would receive the Lord right now. He died on that cross to save you from your sins. Nobody else did that. The Holy Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. There's no payment for your sins. And your sins have to be paid for. And Allah didn't hang on a cross to pay for your sins. Buddha didn't do that. There's nobody else that did that but the Lord Jesus Christ. Because He is the King. He is the Savior. He is the Savior. Please don't reject the Savior. You need Him now. You need Him so much. When I was walking in darkness, I had no idea that I needed Him so much. I wish, you know, if I could change one thing about my life, the, the first thing that I would say that I, I would want to be changed would have been that I gave my whole heart to Him many, many, many years ago. I was raised in the church, but then I turned away. I backslid for a number of years. If I could change one thing, if I could go back and change one thing, it would be that I would have given him my whole heart and been just sold out for the Lord Jesus and had not turned away and backslidden. I wish I had not turned away from him from the, for those years. Because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that my entire life would have been very different. It would have been very different had I been walking closely with Jesus. Okay? He protects you. He puts a hedge of protection around you. He leads you to make good choices. I made very bad choices in my life when I was backslidden. He makes you to he leads you to make good choices and blesses you. You can live a blessed life if you just give your whole heart to him. So I just want to offer you this prayer. He paid for your sins on that cross to give you eternal life. And I just want you to say this prayer with me right now if you want to be saved. If you want to have a new life, a new start in life and have a blessed life and have that peace and joy. Then if you're ready to receive him, if you acknowledge he is the Savior, okay, then say this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I know that you're the Savior. I know that you died to pay for my sins, to give me the gift of eternal life. And Lord Jesus, I ask you to please forgive me for all the sins that I've committed. I know I've done bad things. I ask you to please forgive me for my sins and to come into my heart right now. And Lord, I'm ready to give my heart to you. I'm ready to follow you. I'm ready to turn from sin. I'm ready to repent for my sins and to turn from sin and to follow you and to obey your holy Bible. I'm ready to do that, Lord, and I'm ready to give my heart to you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, if you said that prayer with me right now, you are saved. And you right now, this minute, this very minute, no waiting, this very minute, you are now filled and indwelled with the, with the gift of the Holy Spirit. So get, get yourself a Bible. I read the King James Version, but get yourself a Bible and 
Read your Bible. Try to find a good church, but make sure that church follows the Bible. Take your Bible with you to church and make sure they're following what your Bible says. And just turn from your sins. Repent daily. Ask Him to forgive you of whatever you've done daily and try, to, try with all your might to turn from your sins. Everybody messes up sometimes, and the Bible says He is faithful to forgive. But He wants you to try to turn from your sins. Nobody will ever be perfect. But just keep trying hard to turn from your sins. And He will bless you for it, and I will see you in heaven. I will see you in heaven. We will be in, in paradise with the Lord Jesus Christ, walking on streets of gold in heaven forever. Okay, God bless you, everyone.